doing there? My name is Retro. If you first time on my channel, I usually review anime series, movie series, TV, live action, or something completely random I do. And today will be something completely random. Will be a character spotlight. Will be avocado. <laughs> question where you were when you finally found this death of avocado I mean you saw the episode on your phone on the TV you actually make you think a little bit about this character I actually have days thinking about this brushing my teeth standing still for a second thinking look at my feet looking at the wall looking at the floor looking at the door kind of constantly rotating my head like why avocado and that in itself is oppressive you give you time to think you actually a character dies for a simple yeah like for example if you have a character die one episode you know him that one episode and he dies in the next episode you miss that character that's impressive but you make you miss it for days you leave that kind of impact especially when he's very little in the series in fact he died in the sixth episode that in itself is impressive because you get to know avocado deeply enough to Want to know more? Never enough to know who he really was. I mean, that's it's so interesting. I mean, he has that kind of moment, jazz kind of feeling that I got your back, bro. If you trust me, I trust you. And interesting, you find out who Avocado really is. It's kind of see, it's kind of hard him to trust people. Avocado was uh, basically a bunny hunter slash general slash murderer slash who give a damn will kill you right in front of your face because you do not got to see my face ever again. It's one of those type of characters. You know like, what he has done. The fact he tells Gary a straight on your face. Yeah, he wasn't a good person. He actually killed people. He about to kill his own son to keep his position of being colonel. So yeah, he was... A pretty messed up guy, but he won't cross a certain line. So you can see this guy's not completely lost. It's one of the reasons I think he's a cool, awesome, very interesting, very fascinating character. Because you enjoy him. He's part of this the most interesting character of the whole cast. And some of them, some of the fans who comment in the video that he was the best character. I could argue with Gary is a better character, but I think I understand why people think he is the best character because you don't know enough about him. You know enough to, to understand his motivations, but you don't know who, who he used to be, what he do this. He dealt with everything, but then you want to know more about him. You want to hang out with this character. So yeah, I can see why he lived to such a big impact. He was a fun guy. It's one of those characters that, damn, they know how to write him. The voice actor was Nailing it, this character so well. It's how they managed this death scene, the next episode. It's just so impressive. This show made it real. I mean, there were few shows can pull it off. I love this character, how he died. He could be one of the best cartoon death or best anime death if you want to go that far, or at least top five. To me, he made at least number three or two. But he really makes an impact. So yeah, that's the sole person about the show. Yeah, you just enjoy this character. You also love this character do help out Gary in so many different ways. That he's trying to convince him to be a calm down, don't be so crazy, or try to uh, help him fall in love with the girl he likes. And th that's so interesting. Get, Avocado shouldn't do that. Should he care? Very, he knows him very little, and he wanted to share that and help him more. That's actually just a few moments. You leave a lot of huge impact for a few moments, you'd be a damn good writer. You know how to execute it very well. I mean, I get nothing else about Avocado because it's so impressive. The animation helps so much. Of course, you could nitpick about what happened down to his death. Like the bomb, he took the bomb and ran away. But at the same time, if he took the bomb and throws it out, it'd be the same effect or it'd be worse damage. I mean, you really don't know because it's a bomb. So that's making it so interesting that you don't know if he did the right choice or the wrong choice. That's that's just a fascinating thing about this character. It's just so impactful. What do you think? You think this character does felt the pain when he died? You felt the show took care uh, take care of this very well. All you think is eh, just too fast. Didn't have enough patience or the timing of the character death it was just, just too rushed. Now you think the show handled it pretty well. Well, I think they did, in my opinion. I'm more curious about your opinion. What do you think about it? Well, I got nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.